What's going on guys? My name is Oxide and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing the hotfix that was just released and what it actually includes. Alright, so the third thing to note is that the Rift2Go and Shockwave launcher are actually now able to be voted in-game to which one you would like to see return to Fortnite. The difference is right now, now whether this is a mistake or not, Rift2Go and Shockwave launcher are actually in the game and can be used right now as we speak. But the reason for this video, Armored Walls, strengthen your structures. The Armored Walls are now in game and can be found in supply drops in stacks of five or in floor loot. War means it's time to reinforce, which is why I bolted together the Armored Wall. Give any building piece a whole bunch of HP by putting this barrier on it. You can also build pieces with armored walls automatically attached, no matter how you go about it. It'll be a lot tougher for the enemy to reach if you surround yourself with them. Or, of course, you box them in with the armored walls. The armored wall is technically considered a trap, probably because of its time sink to try and break one. Starting at 9am ET time, right now, I'm placing these 45 fixtures in supply drops and scattering them on the ground. Pick up some extra for defense. So I jumped into a Fortnite custom game. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, when it's just me, supply drops are very, very limited. Uh, but I did manage to find a supply drop with these armored walls, which I'll show you in just a moment and on to how strong they actually are. So here's the gameplay right here, and as you can see, the armored walls are actually counted as a trap in my game. Transforms any building piece into a reinforced barrier. Good luck getting through the walls. As an army delay of 1.5 seconds, and then when you build them, they insta-build to 2500 HP. So when you compare this with a normal metal wall, a normal metal wall is 500 health. And of course, the armored wall is 2,500. When you pickaxe a build, you do 75 damage. This means that in order to break a normal metal wall, you will use roughly 7 hits to break a normal metal wall. But you would have to hit the armored wall 33 to 34 times in order to actually break it and get through it. So of course, if you're boxing in an opponent with the armored wall, it's, it's very hard for your opponent to actually get out of the armored wall. Of course, when you do your rocket launcher damage to the wall, that does roughly 330 health, I think it is. Yeah, 330. Oh no, yeah, 330. It doesn't do any extra damage to an armored wall, as to what it does to a normal wall. That's pretty standard with, of course, these rocket launchers. This means that these armored walls are extremely strong, and I will be interested in seeing how, how pros actually utilize these armored walls, and of course, how casuals will also utilize these armored walls. The other thing to note is that you can't actually edit through an armored wall. So you don't actually technically want to use these armored walls yourself while you're in a fight. Because if you box yourself up with armored walls, of course you're going to actually be stuck because you can't actually edit them out. Which means you actually have to hit that wall 34 times in order to exit your box. Alright, that's it for this video. Jump in, have some fun. I'm keen to see how these are used. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. Press the thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.